Calls for accountability continue as the number of inmates who have died while in Department of Correction custody grows. News 12's Marissa Marcelino has more from advocates who held a rally outside of the Bronx Hall of Justice. Calls for justice filled the air outside the Bronx County Hall of Justice this afternoon as advocates and family members called on officials to finally close Rikers Island. Anything short of just complete decarceration, anything short of just having the island no longer have anyone there has to happen now. Today's rally sparked by two more deaths in Department of Correction custody, bringing the total to 14 this year. Advocates say the most recent Anthony Scott died this week after attempting suicide last Thursday while being held at Manhattan Criminal Court on $15,000 bail before being sent to Rikers. Advocates are calling for the Bronx District Attorney to stop requesting unaffordable bail. People cannot afford to get out, and unfortunately, people are choosing to die rather than go to Rikers Island. Last week, Victor Mercado reportedly died of COVID complications at Rikers. Advocates say his previous request for lower bail due to health challenges was denied. They echoed the months of advocates and elected officials calling conditions inside the jail inhumane and a death sentence. The family of Nicholas Feliciano, who now suffers from permanent brain damage after an attempted suicide at Rikers, says they want DOC officers to be held accountable. Nicholas is here with us today. But we got these families here that they lost their loved ones due to the neglect of these officers. The Bronx DA's office told us they had no comment on today's rally. At Bronx County Hall of Justice, Marissa Marcelino, News 12.